A roadside bomb in Afghanistan's capital, Kabul, killed a television journalist and a driver yesterday. At least six people have got badly injured in this incident. The targeted bomb struck a minivan carrying 15 employees of a private Afghan television channel in Kabul. Visuals from the side show a white minibus with extensive damage to its front. Now this attack is the second such attack targeting journalists of a private media outlet in less than a year. In August 2019, two passers-by were killed when a sticky bomb, a type of homemade explosive attached to vehicles with magnets, struck the channel's van. According to the Media Freedom Group, reporters without borders, the Taliban and other militants have repeatedly targeted Afghan journalists, killing 15 in 2018, the deadliest year yet for the Afghan media. Taliban has, however, denied responsibility for the latest attack. Afghanistan is one of the world's deadliest places for journalists. The local journalists face many risks covering the country's decades-long conflict. The latest attack comes just after violence resumed after the three-day ceasefire. 14 Afghan soldiers have been killed near Kabul in a deadly attack. And so our correspondent Mustafa Kazemi has sent us this ground report from Kabul. Have a look. Another black day for the Afghan media here in Afghanistan. This van belonging to a private television network was bombed just an hour ago by a magnetic IED strapped to the front of the vehicle. As the vehicle was taking the personnel of a private television network back from their office to their home at the end of the working day, it exploded midway, killing two people, one of them being a TV anchor and another a technician. And six people, including journalists and a female anchor, have been wounded. No insurgent group has so far claimed responsibility, but this is the second time in the past year that this TV channel's personnel or vehicles get attacked by unidentified groups or individuals. This is Mustafa Kazimir for Rian and Kabul, World is One.